So obviously, Succession has just ended. Yeah. Your huge, huge hit of a show. Yeah. Is there anything through that entire press tour or the course of that show that you never got the opportunity to talk about that you wish you had said or discussed? I don't think so. I mean, I think uh, uh, we did an awful lot of press for that show, and I, I, there's nothing that sort of sticks out like, oh, I wish somebody would have asked me this, that, or the other thing. I don't think so. Is there something you want to know specifically? <laughs> I mean, I'll try to answer it. reading any of those scripts, was there one that just really jumped out to you where you're like, I can't believe this is what's happening? Well, I mean, they were all so good from the very beginning. And um, my sort of relationship to the show was sort of like Connor's relationship to the family. I was never involved in the central drama. I was always kind of on the outskirts, on the periphery. But uh, in the very first season, um, I think that the, the tone of the show made itself... Uh, wildly apparent in the fourth episode of the first season because that was when we had the Reckney Ball and uh, the old man put me in charge of the Reckney Ball and you know I was beside myself with anxiety and I was all messed up about the butter being frozen and all that stuff you know and uh, when we read that script aloud and people were howling you know um, at the table like people from HBO and I, I mean they were just like they were crying, you know, and it wasn't just me. It was like all the stuff between uh, um, Tom and uh, Cousin Greg, everything. Uh, that's when I kind of realized what the tone was and that we were doing this sort of tightrope walk between drama and comedy. So it's more like life, you know. It, 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 yeah. But, uh, you made kind of a switch from movies to more TV. Was that intentional or was it just the opportunities that presented itself? That's exactly right. It's just... Um, if you're going to have a career, you, you do what you get a chance to do. I mean, you, you do the jobs that you get offered. And um, I started out doing movies and plays. I started out doing plays, and then I started doing some movies, and then I wound up in TV for quite a long time. And now I've been bouncing back and forth a little bit. And, uh, and TV now is like, when I started out years ago, people said TV is where actors go to die, you know? Um, but then, I guess starting, I guess uh, early '90s. I guess when when did? Uh, well, it was definitely when The Sopranos hit, and there was The Wire, and then all of a sudden there were these shows that. Well, it, it, it goes back farther than that. It goes back to Bochco when he did Hill Street Blues. He uh, he kind of kicked that off with. Um, uh, it wasn't just episodic. It, you know, it was a continuing, ongoing drama. And um, he just sucked people in because the writing was terrific and the performances were great. And um, so I think it goes back to Bochco, but definitely in the 90s then it just took off. You know? and, um, and I always wanted to work for HBO someday, so I just got lucky. I got you, so lucky. You found a way in. Yeah, it. yeah. You just, if you stick around long enough, you know, maybe they'll let you in. And once you get in, I feel like they just... They love to keep well, we'll see. their actors we'll see. in their see. They could call me now. It'd be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with them. Speaking of kind of things coming back, you know, you were in the original Twisters movie. Did you watch the new one? No, I didn't. didn't. No, no, I didn't go see it. Um, Put it on the 40X and really experienced it. <laughs> no, I, no, I figured it was pretty much the... I heard it was very similar to what we did, so yeah. I didn't... Yeah. It stayed true to the original. Yeah, okay. Just some, some new fresh faces. Huh? 